Hello everyone, I missed you all, I hope you are doing well, are safe, I hope you're having fun, spending time with your families, playing with your toys, and are having a blessed time. And also, I want to let you know uh, that on Saturday, August 22nd, is the Feast of St. Mary. I hope you had a blessed Feast of St. Mary, spent it with a lot of happiness and joy, and I hope that... Um, you pray to St. Mary that day, especially on her Feast of Ascension, okay? And I hope um, you're excited. I hope um, uh, you had fun this year and uh, are excited for the new year coming up uh, in September, uh, mid-September. Um, I wanted to play a quick game for you for open session. Um, it's, it's the... I like to call it the I Spy uh, color game. So I, I'm gonna tell you, um, I want uh, an item or anything with that color, and you go get it for me right away. Okay? So I want something with the color green. Okay? I found this mask which is green, that I made. Look. It's green. Okay. I want something... Um... White. Oh, look, look. I found a cross that's white. Okay. I want something... Um, black. My headphones. It's black. Okay. What else can I see? Hmm. Okay. I want something yellow. Picture of a saint. His name's Abunov. Okay. I want something. Hmm. Let's see what I could have. Let's see what I could have. I want something pink. A whole bunch of. Okay. I want something. I want something red again. On this bag. Okay. What else can we get? Uh, I want something blue. A pillow. Okay. What about this? Let's change it up. I want a book. Can anyone get a book? Hmm. I'm looking. I found a Bible. Okay. I want something. Mm. Uh, blue. I have this perfume. Okay. Last but not least, I want something yellow. It's not really yellow, but there's a yellow, yellow crown, yellow halo right there for St. Mary. And yes, obviously, I got a picture of St. Mary because it was a feast of St. Mary. Now, what's coming next? is a song, um, a hymn, too. So let's go to the song. Yeah, Jake. 
Hope you enjoyed opening session with George. Now we're gonna go on to the lesson with Farah. Are you guys ready? Can't hear you. Okay, to welcome her in, we're going to jump up and down three times, okay? Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, and... Okay, now let's go to the lesson. Hey guys, so for today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about St. Mary and the Mountain. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture of the very specific mountain we're talking about today just because when you see it you're gonna be like wow that actually happened after I tell you the story obviously I'm just gonna flip the camera so you guys can see it so this is a picture of the mountain uh, and it's located in Egypt and also the mountain is called um, El Motam and again it's located in Egypt so the beginning of the very first lesson First, just a show of hands, I'm going to pretend like you guys are in front of me, but just a show of hands if you guys have ever seen a mountain before. I know I have. Now, obviously, when you look at them, the first instinct that, or not the first instinct that comes to mind is like, oh, wow, this mountain is so big, but you know what? I know I can move this. That's not the first thing that comes to mind. But that's what ended up happening with the Christians in Egypt. They ended up moving a mountain. So let's start at the very beginning of the story. There was a governor in Egypt and he always wanted to get Christians in trouble. So he came across a verse in the Bible that says, I'm going to read it for you guys. If you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Matthew 17, 20. Okay. So basically the verse is saying you have to have, like, if your faith is so strong, you can even look at a mountain and say, I want it to move from point A to point B, okay? So the governor came across this verse and he requested to see the Pope. And then when he seen him, he was like, you know what? I don't like the place where this mountain is placed, which is the mountain that I showed you a picture of. He's like, I don't like the place where it's at right now. I want it to go from here and I want it to be moved to there. So that's that's not something you request just any day. Like that's that's pretty hard, okay? And so the Pope was very stressed out because the governor told him, he's like, if you don't do this or if this doesn't happen, then the Christians in Egypt are going to be in trouble. So he's the Pope and he cares for his people. He did not want that to happen. So he was so stressed out. And this is when St. Mary comes in. So she appeared to uh, the Pope and then she told him that there was a man who's really, really strong in faith. And his name was Simeon. Oh, and his name was Simeon. And um, he can help you with this. Okay, so then uh, the Pope went and he searched for Simeon and then he found him and then they agreed to, to help or he agreed to help. So then when they came and then they uh, did something, they fasted for three days and they prayed for three days. They were so stressed out. They wanted to pray so much in order for this to really happen. So they decided to do it over three days. So when all of them came right in front of the mountain, so the Pope, Simeon and the Christians, uh, from Egypt, this is the mountain, and they, they stood right in front of it. And 
they said um, carry a light zone, carry a light zone, carry a light zone. And every time they would do the sign of the cross, the mountain would move. And then they would say it again, and then the mountain would move. And then they would do the sign of the cross, and the mountain kept on moving every time they said that. And I know this is a really short um, like lesson, but it shows us that how St. Mary is always here for us when we need her help. And like she guided, or because she guided um, the Pope in order to go find um, Simeon and help him through this stressful time, because it's very stressful in order to just move a mountain in a couple of days, that's very hard. So she led him through this stressful time. And because she did that, we can also do that by, we can always ask for help in prayers and ask for her intercessions. So uh, I wanted to go over the memory verse with you guys. And okay, I'm gonna say it first and then you guys can say it with me after. So it says, you have been saved through faith. So we can say it again, you have been saved. That's the first part. And then through faith and it's from Ephesians 2 verse uh, or sorry Ephesians 2 8 so again I know it's a very short lesson but keep in mind that is one of the very like it's a beautiful miracle the fact that Christians in Egypt can even move a mountain and it's very it's a very well-known miracle because they did such a great thing and it seems like such a difficult thing and so keep in mind they did that and through prayer, and then they also did that over three days, and then the mountain's name is called, do you guys remember? In the very first beginning of the lesson, I'm gonna give you a second to say it right before I do. Okay, so the mountain is called in Motham, and it's located where? It starts with an E. It's located in Egypt. So, know these things, know the main thing, and we miss you guys, and I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos, and yeah, uh, school's starting soon, so be prepared and enjoy your last weeks of summer. Bye. That was an awesome lesson, you guys. Hope you guys really liked it. Now we're gonna go on to Coptic with Auntie Mervet, okay? Now to welcome her in, we're going to make a drumming sound, okay? With our mouths, okay? So like go like this, and then we're gonna tap on our cheeks and make a drumming sound, okay? You guys ready? Three, two, one. Now let's go on to Tant. Alpha. Where can we find Alpha? This is Delta. This is Lavla. This is Alpha. So this, we're gonna circle this one. Okay, Beta. Where is Beta? This is Rho. This is P. This is Beta. Okay, we're gonna circle the beta. Gamma, this one, or this, or this, this is su, this is zeta, this is gamma. We're gonna circle the gamma. Delta, where is delta? This is lavla, this is uh, delta, and this is janja. So this is delta, okay? So A, where can we find A? This is zeta, this is sima, this is A. We're gonna Circle the A, Su. Su is number six, Su. Where can we find it? This is Dita, this is Gamma, and this is Su. We're gonna circle Su. And Dita, this, X, this, K, this is Zeta. We're gonna circle the Zeta. Eta, Eta. This is Yota. This is P, this is Eta. Where is Zeta? This is O, this is Siba, this is Sita. Yota, what is Yota? This is Tetav, this is Chi, but this is Yota. Okay, Kappa, where can we find the Kappa? This is K, and this is Epsilon, this is Kappa. Where can we find Lavla? This is Janja, this is Delta, this is Lavla. Where can I find me? This is Nay, this is Chai, this is me, me. Where can we find me? This is Nay, this is Nay, okay? We're gonna see here, we're gonna circle like that, okay? Nay, this one. Me, this one. Lavla, this one. Kappa, this one. Yota, 
this one. Sita, this one. Ita, this one. Zita, this one. Su, which is number six, this one. E, this one. E, delta, delta, this one. Gamma, this one. Beta, this one. And alpha, this one. Exe. Which one is Exe? This one. O. Which one is O? This one. P. Which one is P? This one, P. Rho. Which one? Rho. Sima. Which one? This one, Sima. Tab. This one has the line on the top. Epsilon. Which one? Epsilon. Phi. Which one? Phi. Phi. This one is Phi. Okay. K. K. Which one is K? K. Epsi. Epsi. This one. Epsi. Not this. This. Okay. So don't confuse between Epsi and Phi. Okay. O. Which is long O. Chai. Chai. See, it doesn't have tail. This has tail. Chai. And phi. This is phi. Okay. And then hi. What is hi? This one hi. Okay. Hori. 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 Janja. Janja. Shima. What is Chima? Looks like six. See? This one, Chima. And the last one is Chi, which is the line in the middle. This is on the top. This is no line. This is in the middle. Okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. See you next time. Guys, so like I mentioned last time, that was our last hymn for Maharagon, okay? Uh, I'll be also she took last time, okay? So what we're going to do uh, today is we're going to test your memory, okay? We're going to go back to the first hymn we did and we're going to review it uh, together, okay? And make sure that we know it well and practice it because over time we get better and better at it, okay? So, first I'm going to remind you guys what we say in that hymn, okay? What it, uh, what, I'm going to say it once uh, first, tell you guys what it means one more time and then we'll say it bit by bit together, okay? Make sure that we all know it together, okay? Uh, but a bit quicker than last time, okay? So, I'm going to say it first. If you guys remember it, you guys can say it with me, okay? But I'm going to say it first once, and then we're going to repeat it uh, uh, together afterwards, okay? So, three, two, one. Ten o shtem o kombejerestos nem pekyot en alathos nem bi et nevma eth o web Je akton kak soti emon naina an. Okay, so that hymn means we worship you, O Christ. We're saying that we worship our Lord Jesus Christ with the Father, with your good Father, and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us and mercy us. And like I mentioned before, we say risen on Sundays. Because Christ rose on Sunday, right? Very early Sunday morning, Christ arose uh, from the tomb and went, um, uh, and uh, when everyone went, they found the tomb was empty and he appeared to his disciples afterwards. So on Sundays, normally we say risen, and then on some other occasions, like with Easter and stuff, okay? So we're going to be saying risen, which is but if you go in the middle of the week, uh, Anytime but around Easter, you'll find a key, or in some occasions, some other things. But normally, we say, okay? which is, you have risen and saved us. Because when Christ rose, he saved us, right? He took our sin, and he made us white as snow, and he cleaned us, okay? So, uh, now we're going to go through it piece by piece together, okay, guys? So, we're going to go through the first piece together, okay? I want you guys to hear you guys loud and clear, okay? Three, two, one. Ten o shtemo ko bechere sos nempe. Now, guys, 
Uh, let's let's repeat that part again first. I know uh, I know you guys some of you guys might know it, but we're gonna just, uh, repeat that part now. Okay, so I'm gonna say it once and you guys say it. Okay. Den o oshtem mo kobecherestos. Your turn. Den o oshtem mo kobecherestos nem pekioten alatos. Yeah, that's good. You guys went a bit further, which is nice. Anyway. So let's uh, say that again with those two parts. That was the next thing, okay? Show sure, so, up, you guys know it, guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna say those two parts together, okay? Um, so three, two, one. Then o stem mo ko bechristos nem pekioten adasos. Okay, now let's say that again. I'm gonna say it once you guys say, it, okay? Then os dem mo ko pechrestos nem pekioten agathos. Okay, you guys now. Then os dem mo ko pechrestos nem pekioten agathos. Okay. Nem pi ep nev ma eth o web. You guys now. Nem pi ep nev ma eth o web. Now all that together, okay? Den o stem mo ko bechrestos nem bekyoten alathos nem pi ep nev ma eth o web. Okay. Now, one more time, just to make sure you guys remember it. Then we'll continue the next part, okay? But together, loud and clear, okay? So, straight up. Take a deep breath. And three, two, one, go. Okay, perfect guys. Now, last part, okay? J akton kaksoti emonaino. Like we said before, the ending has uh, the few has yet, okay? Uh, I'm gonna say it one more time and you guys say it, okay? J akton kaksoti emonaino. Okay, together now. Je akton kak soti emonaina on. Okay, guys. Now say it again uh, from the beginning, okay, to the end, since you guys know it. And we're going to go through it um, together now, really clearly, really loudly, okay? Three, two, one. Job guys, you guys remember when we say this hymn? It's okay if you don't remember it, but when we say it is right before we say the Pauline, okay, which is the first reading, okay. Um, so right before the deacon reads the epistle from Saint Paul, we uh we sing this, okay. This is the last thing we say, okay. So let's say it one more time just to make sure, then we're finished, okay, guys. I hope you guys really like the hymn. And that we, you you listen to it a lot and you practice it, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you hear it in church and you sing with the deacons, really loud and clear, okay? So let's do it one more time together, okay? Three, two, one, go. Then o stem moko bechrestos nem bechioten alathos nem pi ep nev ma eth o web. 
je akton kak soti emo na na okay great job guys uh you guys did amazing and i hope you guys like the hymn yeah really fun. and yeah so great job guys and we'll see you guys later okay now we're going to go on to the crafts okay See you guys. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Hey, everyone. Can we guess what time it is? That's right. It's craft time. Today, we're going to color this picture of St. Mary and make it 3D to put anywhere in your rooms. For the craft today, we'll need this picture that we sent out to your parents earlier. We're going to need some pencil crayons. I chose these colors. We're going to need some glue and some scissors, but make sure you have supervision when you use these. Let's start off by coloring the picture. Now that we're done coloring, we're gonna cut the picture around where I made the green outlines. Amazing job, everyone! We just have one more step. We're gonna flip the picture and turn both back sides into each other like this, creating a little loop. Then we're gonna glue these together. Now we're all done. This is gonna look amazing in our rooms. 